Hi, I'm Patrick Malone, and I'm here to discuss with you social cognitive theory. Social cognitive theory traces its roots back to 1931, when Edward B. Holt and Harold Chapman Brown wrote an article based on animal behavior, describing that a person cannot learn to imitate unless imitated. This was used as a basis for the research done by Neil E. Miller and John Dollard in their, uh, when they developed social learning and imitation theory, which was the precursor to the social cognitive theory. And then they described that imitation is based on positive or negative behaviors. Well, in other words, if someone did something that received positive results, a person would imitate that and they would avoid imitating results that received negative results. It was in 1961 when Albert Bandura began, began the Bobo doll experiments in which they took a toy Bobo doll, you know, the, one, the thing you punch and it comes back up. They recorded videos of adults being abusive to this object and showed them to children and saw that children were more likely to be abusive after they saw the adults do this and boys were even more susceptible than girls. They did this in two years, 1961 and 1963, and then Bandura himself expanded on the article of Miller and Dollard in 1971. Bandura then published a paper in 1986 officially renaming the theory to social cognitive theory. Social cognitive theory is based on learning through observation. When you observe something and it receives a positive outcome, you are more likely to imitate behavior. The important parts of developing psychology are environment, behavior, and cognition. And this is very likely to also be affected by the observations of people around you. In other words, the mindset of a parent is just as likely to affect the uh, mindset of the child as the environment is likely to affect the mindset of the child. Bandura presented the triadic reciprocal causation model showing, uh, illustrating this, the person, behavior, and environment each affect each other in different ways to create the psychology of behavior. The, there are four essential parts to social cognitive theory. The first is modeling, which is the situation upon which behavior will be uh, imitated. So, in the Bobo doll experiment mentioned earlier, when the adult beat up on the Bobo doll, this was the model for the child to imitate. The second part is observational expectancies, uh, which uh, formed in the person's head, they will expect similar outcomes, not necessarily exact. If you do something positive, or if you do something in a positive outcome, if someone does something in a positive outcome, ensues, you will be likely to expect something similar and therefore imitate the behavior. Self-efficacy, the third part, is the belief in your own ability to uh, adopt the model. In, in other words, if so you saw someone jump from a table to another table and everyone in the room cheers for them, if you believe you can do it, you are more likely to imitate the behavior. And the last part is identification which is the observed similarity between the model and yourself.